Hello. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing pretty good. Uh, well, uh, are you ready to go ahead and get started again? I'm ready if you are, bro. All right, man. Uh, you said this time you wanted to work on Zergers Protoss, right? Yes. Okay. Very much. Okay. Yeah. Well, what kind of openings are you doing, Zergers Protoss? All right. Well, uh, I, I can get really specific with you here. Um, okay. I'm an avid lover of Mutaling. It's my favorite build um, in ZVP, hands down. I think uh, the mobility and just the the harass that it opens up is awesome, and I love it. And I'll go Mutaling whenever I can. However, uh, with the with the I guess rising popularity of six gate and all these uh, early mid game abusive toss, I, I, maybe I shouldn't say abusive, but all these early mid game timing pushes that toss is using, you just can't go muta on every map, especially maps with naturals that you can't just hide behind spines. In my opinion, I may, if I'm wrong, correct me, please. No, no, you're completely right. Um, um, I, I I loved mutaling as well, but. You know, Zelnaga Caverns, like, you yeah, know, the other maps, no Metalopolis. Chance. There's no chance yeah. to go Muta on Zelnaga. So, so, um, and uh, this is, I was really excited to get you to come on to, to do this because uh, I, in watching your recent games, you, you seem to play a very uh, Roach-centric style. And whenever I try to go Roach, I fucking die. It's just terrible. Like, in, in the last 20 games where I've gone Roach, I've probably won one of them. And so, <laughs> I, have, I have no clue how to how to how to initiate a roach build. I have no clue how to transition. I have no clue when to get the hydras. And honestly, I hate fucking hydras because everything kills them. They just die to everything. So yeah, yeah. The, the, whole, the whole concept of going um, something other than mutiling is kind of foreign to me. And I just, I really would like to know how to approach ZVP from a non-muta uh, standpoint. Okay. Well, uh, first off, you're, you're exactly right. Like, psst. Six gate. If you open mutiling, you're in trouble. Like, I'm not gonna say you can't win with it, but your opponent probably messed something up pretty badly. And so I found kind of the, and most others have found the best kind of way to open up against that very aggressive mid range Protoss build order uh, attack is roaches. You know, six gate by itself uh, is extremely adjustable and extremely strong. Like, there's no flat like counter to it um, okay. other than like roach with burrow because they're going straight six gate they're not going to have obs right so um, and even then it's like it's like defensive uh, for zerg as well because you have to use burrow in order to defend the attack like the six gate right but you know it kind of gains you some sort of map control until they get their robo out um, so yeah I've, typically I've been opening roach and then uh, what's actually kind of funny is, compared to before, if you open Roach and you scouted and saw them going immortal, I'm sure the la the first thing you'd throw down was a Spire. But right. in this case, uh, the typical transition for Protoss to go uh, deal with the, the sort of like two base uh, Roach pressure with uh, Burrow is to throw down a Robo and crank out Immortals mm -hmm. and get an Observer. And so kind of the counter to that is you're going to back up those roaches with hydralisks. Right. Um, and so it's kind of like a, a transition from roach burrow into hydra, and then kind of a delayed spire to deal with uh, any sort of colossus that could be made after, you know, the first few immortals. So okay. it's kind of just how, to, how it's played. It sounds like uh, a very dangerous timing window, or timing something that's just like a, it's a, you know, dangerous game you're playing where it's like, if I, if I wait too long for the Spire, I'm dead. If I wait too long for the Hydras, I'm dead. If I wait too long for whatever, I'm dead. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty difficult. Um, what kind of makes it easier for me is whenever I run up against six gate builds like this, I kind of just set a standard. And I'll, and I'll say something, like even if I know it, it's not going to be true, I'll say, all right, this game, as I'm making Hydra's range upgrade, I'm going to throw down my Spire. And I just kind of see how that works. And then it gives me something to adjust upon. Like, if, you know, I do that, that that game, I start my Spire as I start Hydro's range upgrade, and it's still not up in time, then I have something to adjust from. So, uh, you know, the, as the timings work out, uh, you can kind of get it down to kind of a, a safe point. 
um, as long as you know your opponent is executing the build correctly as well. <laughs> okay. So, all right, uh, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna walk you through it the first game. Uh, just my my standard roach opening. What I do is the beginning's all the same, speed before lair. Um, as your lair is at around 20% completed, you're going to start making your Roach Warren. That way the, the Roach Warren and the lair finish it around the same time. As your lair finishes, you're going to go ahead, research uh, Roach speed, start making Roaches to defend, and then slowly add on Burrow. And as your Roach speed finishes, you're going to be aggressive with it. You always have to be aggressive. You know, make sure that the Protoss isn't doing anything too greedy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, force some cannons if you can before a robo. Most of the time, that you're not going to be able to. That's fine. Uh, and then you just transition from there. Take your third, uh, throw uh, down your Hydra's den, and then just go Roach Hydra into Spire. Let's so. back up a little bit just to our very, um, our very early early game opening. I, I would I would prefer to 14 hatch. Is that something that you um, advocate? No, not not anymore. Uh, if you ever get close positions with a good Protoss, um, they can just do their standard 12, 13 gate opening, scout you close positions, see you're going hatchery first, and then just decide to throw down a forge in their main and a pylon at your natural, chrono boost zealots at you, and spam cannons, and you can't stop it. There's literally no way to deal. Yep, there's no way you can stop it. So you have to open pool first against Protoss now, every single time, unless you know they're not close positions. So we're going to go uh, 14 pool, 16, 17 hatch? Uh, 14 pool, 16 hatchery is what I generally do. Uh, on Steps of War, I'll go 14 pool, 15 hatchery, just because that just helps, it, it helps hold off uh, some of the early gateway You need, to, you need to creep, right? Uh, yeah, to get down the spine crawlers as well. It's just there's a few all ins there that Protoss can do that you can't hold it with the 16 hatch, but you can hold it with the 15 hatch. So that's the only subtle little adjustment I'll make. All right, well let's uh, let's jump into it and see how it goes and uh, and uh, all right. and stuff. Yep. Very hard. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? I know. <laughs> I'm scaring you. I'm scaring you. Trust me. Trust me. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Last time I played a very hard AI, it owned me. Really? Yeah. All right. That well, was like the second day I had StarCraft, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got this, you got this. All right. So yeah, 14 pool, 16 hatchery oh, expand. I'm going this way with my overlord. Oh, you started doing this? Yes. Yeah. A lot of my students don't like it, and I don't try to push it on anybody, but... Oh, it makes I sense. Like it. it makes <laughs> sense, but... You know, if I'm going for if I'm going pool first already, it's like, well, you know, what's the point? Aside yeah. from just saying, oh, okay, I know where he is. Uh, you know, I I guess there wouldn't really be too much of a point to be honest. It's just something that I've kind of gotten used to doing but for so long. The thing I like about it is, uh, he's gonna pull a probe and check, and he's not gonna see my overlord, so he's gonna keep him guessing. Yep. Yep. So, um, shit, I was gonna ask you a question. I completely forgot. It'll come back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Am I going to drone scout with this build? Yes. You drone scout on 14 as you uh, make your pool. Okay. Send your second overlord to the 12 clock. That's a habit of going hatch first. <laughs> so So would, uh, would you scout... Cross position with the drone? Yep. Yeah, let's go. Cross position with the drone. And my overlord's kind of on a bad path, isn't he? Am I the one going to six? Uh, I usually aim right for the ramp. Yeah, he's going a little high. Yeah, um, you want to just try and keep along that pathway. And on 16, I want my hatchery. Yep. Send a drone down at 200, and good to go. And then it's 15 Overlord after the hatchery's down. All right, so nice cross map. Go ahead and reposition those two Overlords. 
So where am I gonna send this top overlord? Like, there's really. Uh, yeah, there's no cliff or anything on this map, so I just sent it right to where the Protoss's third would be, okay. so I could use it to delay the third with creep later. Gotcha. It's the best thing I've come up with. Uh, what about my gas timing? Uh, overlord and then queen and then gas at 21. Okay. Usually want your overlord a bit sooner. I, I was stalling because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Oh. Uh, my bad. It's alright. Yeah, overlord at 15, so right after the hatchery goes down, you make your overlord immediately. Yeah, you said that, didn't you? And I wasn't listening. It's alright. Okay, now go ahead and take your Vespian. Then usually you want to start your second queen in your main uh, as the first one finishes, but, but this game delayed. it's fine to just... Yeah, it's yeah, alright. Because I'm a noob. <laughs> Make two Zerglings just to scout with and start a spine crawler at your natural to defend against Stalker Harass. You gotta get it down as soon as the expansion comes up, because usually the Stalker is gonna be hitting like any second, right. so it's really important to get that down there. Is this a tumor or an injection? Uh, inject. Always, the first one's always an inject. Alright, then send the two Zerglings out to scout, drone up to 30, and then make an Overlord. I have nobody in gas. I'm so bad. It's alright. What about now? I mean, Is this a tumor now? At the, at yeah, the you can make that a tumor. Typically it'll be the one that's in your main. Yeah, to connect the base. Yeah, yeah. Alright. So, Overlord at 30, and then Drone, and then... Alright. Guess we'll just kind of ignore what the Protoss is doing. Yeah. We'll just pretend like you're playing a like the 2 base 6 gate build. Can I start my lair? Uh, no. Speed with your first 100 gas, and then start your second uh, Vespian Geyser, and then just keep droning for now. Man, this feels like such delayed everything. Yeah, it, it's quite odd, um, but it should have, like, good enough economy to carry you into the mid and late game. Like, that that's all this build is based around, getting as many drones early on. As How do you deal with some standard 4-gate? Uh, well, you would scout it by now, and you would have not been making any more drones. You would have probably just been spamming down spine crawlers and uh, speedlings. Okay. Start your lair and then throw three more drones on gas. Yeah, typically against four gate, I can see it coming far enough. I'll, I'll throw down five spine crawlers total, and you'd be spending all of your larva right now on zerglings. Oh, shit, look at this. Which, yeah, you should be doing right now. So start making zerglings. I think I'm about to get owned. <laughs> uh, I think you, with the speedlings, you'll be fine. I'm pretty sure. They'll at least buy your spine crawlers time. Just keep making them as soon as they come out. Oh! Yeah. Pull drones as well. Like, against something like this, you want to just survive at all costs. The drones take, like, good amount of shots from the immortals, so... Spawn larva in your main, 